Hi everyone, Happy New Year. Thank you so much for joining another episode of Memo Talks. Thank you for uh, taking your time to listen to me today. And I'm wishing you uh, lots of happiness, health, and much success in this new year. And as much as uh, I am a goal setter, someone that likes to create uh, short-term attainable goals, um, I want to start the year with apologizing to my body. And what does that mean? Um, apologizing to my body for me means taking up space and reflect and be mindful of the uh, toxicity and the uh, negativity that I have brought to my body over the years. And what is that supposed to mean? I am apologizing to my body for treating it badly. I apologize to my body for allowing certain thoughts, certain ideas, certain versions of myself really get to me and believe them as well. I apologize to my body for not taking care of it at times when it needed to, for the sake of productivity, for the sake of getting things done. I apologize to my body for um, not being caring enough, especially when I had to get things done and my body was uh, the last thing on my mind, including sleep, including self-care, including uh, ways to take care of myself and my overall health. I apologize to my body for punishing it, going on certain diet trends, on certain cleanses and detoxes that at the end of the day served no purpose, but it afflicted my body, it created a, uh, it, it affected my metabolism and overall just made my body go through hell. I apologize to my body for being so condescending and being so upset for fluctuations, for changes, for, uh, for moments where, like I said, I needed to get through school or I needed to get things done and therefore my body suffered. And when I recovered, I punished it and I was condescending towards it because why didn't I know better to take care of it from the first place? Especially when I didn't have the knowledge, when I didn't have the capacity or the bandwidth in order for me to take care of myself at the time. I also apologize to my body for, and I know that you're, that you're probably here like listening, oh my God, this person is really coming up with a list. Yes, I apologize to my body for not giving it the proper time to heal for not giving it the proper time to heal and which only made the healing prolonged, delayed. Now you may be here listening to me and thinking to yourself, what does apologizing to your body have to do with anything? When I realized the importance of apologizing and being mindful and being reflective and being consistent in praising my body for the functions and the abilities that it has for me to stay alive, for me to stay healthy, for me to stay in full motion, I can then move forward into modifying, into treating it well, into achieving what I need my body to achieve in order for it to be healthy. Listen, as you all may know, I've talked about my weight loss journey. I've talked that, I've mentioned that uh, when I was in undergrad and grad school, I gained, you know, 30 pounds 
on both different occasions. I uh, gained weight recently as well because of a new medication that I'm taking. And when I lost the weight, I would think that I would be happier as a lot of people, as a lot of us may think that once I lose the weight, once I uh, am thinner or I am in the body shape that I want, then I'll be happy. But then when I achieve that body type or when I achieve the weight that I always wanted, I was never happy. And I made my body go through uh, through several different, uh, you know, issues that affected my metabolism that really put my body into, um, you know, into burden to the point where, um, you know, it developed new illnesses and things that could have been prevented. Therefore, before you think that fitness and health and mental health and self-development and personal growth is a destination, I hate to say it, it's not correct. We have to start with being aware of our bodies, aware of our of the way our mind copes and the way our brain thinks and unlearn certain phobias and behaviors that have afflicted us for years, that society has programmed us and conditioned us to believe. And when we do that, from within starts the healing enough for us to heal our own bodies, for us to recover and speed up the metabolism and these anti-aging techniques. And I know that I sound like a you know quirky person, but it is true. It is true. You will not be able to achieve the happiness and satisfaction that you want when you are when your happiness and your well-being and your contentment starts from within. So how do you start that? From, apol from apologizing to your body and making sure that going forward to listen to your body and protect it as much as you can. Because this is we're, we're living in this body for many, many years. So might as well get used to it and might as well love it. So with that being said, thank you so much for listening. Thank you so much for watching. I will talk to you all again soon. Bye-bye.